Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to work with the iron date time. Well, I have already made a video on that last year, but this time it's going to be the fresh one. We are going to see each and every stuff which we can implement with the help of iron date time with the latest version of Ionix. So let's check that out in this particular video right now. Now, as you can see here, I have already created a new project and this project is up and running with the help of Ionix Serve. And this is our design, which is empty as of now because I do not have anything. Everything is commented. And in this video, you just have to sit back and relax. All the code is already written here. I will implement it one by one to show you the exact output, how it is looking, okay, and how to implement that particular stuff. Okay, so everything will be covered up in this particular video. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Now, this is the official documentation of iron date time where we will start with, if I just scroll down, this is a basic uses and this is how it looks like so far, where we have the date and time by default. Okay, and this is how the tag looks like. Now, if you want to implement this tag, you need to import it in your TS file if you are using the, which one? Standalone project. So if you're using standalone in this particular manner, you have to pass each and everything iron date time if you are using iron label you have to pass iron label and at the same time you have to import it here too now i have imported few more stuff like iron date time then iron buttons iron button iron model all of these are imported but i'll show you when to implement those okay i've just done that so it will be easy for us to understand everything and implement quickly now after this particular one, which we have definitely implemented it here, let me just show you in the HTML one, if I just uncomment this first one, which is the main max date time, which we are going to look at. If you want to see the simple one, let me just show you the simple one here. IN date time, that's a simple one, which we are just going to look. This is how it will look like. So exactly the same design that we have here, correct? Right now, we are going to look into the mean and max dates. What does it mean? Don't worry, everything is written here. So minimum and maximum date that you can pass in a date time. So the minimum that you can select and the maximum that you can select, you can pass it here. How that can be done? Let me just show you. I'll just comment the first one and open up the second one. All right, here we have the value. This is the current value, means the date which is selected by default and this should be within the mean and max, okay? So mean is given as 1st January 2023. Let's give it 24. Okay, max is max should be uh, 24. Fine. Now I'll have an error here because the date is between 1st January 2023 to 31st May 2024. Between that I can pass any date, but I am passing 2022, which won't accept, and I'll get an error here most probably. Well, actually, it's a warning that I'm getting. So in order to fix this warning, what I need to do is I need to pass here a proper date. See, like if I give 2024 April, then it's going to work properly and I won't get any warning. So that is how it is working. Okay, so this is the benefit of passing the mean max in the date time where you will pass the date and time altogether or you want to work with date definitely you can do that up we will check that out later on how you can implement so this is how you can do it now i'll also show you how to set up the dynamic date and time in order to do that let me just wrap this in an input property that it can have as value now i'll pass here i'll just scroll down and current date i'm going to use it which is of type string that i'm going to pass and i've given a not symbol or the exclamation symbol which denotes that this is not empty this will have some value and this value i'm going to define it in my ng on in it so let me just uncomment this so i'm passing new date function and i have to convert it into iso string in order to show it in this particular one otherwise this will not show so if I just go back where I have to go to the home page HTML file, I simply need to pass here current date. If I do that up, just check this out. Not here exactly. I'll just look at this 17th of January 2024, which is the current date that I am recording on. So it is getting selected. All right. And what about the timing? Well, the timing is not right. So I'm not getting the proper timing here. Don't worry. That depends on the locality which is it is taking. So we can change that, of course. But let's negate back to the TS file. So in the TS file, you have understood what exactly we have done in the HTML. This is how you can pass dynamic data. Now, if I don't pass the ISO string, what will happen? Let me just show you. If I cut this, now you see I'm getting an error here. Why is that so? It should be a string. 
Okay, let me pass, pass two string that should also work or let me pass two date string. That is another function that I can have. If I pass that still not getting implemented. And here I get a warning that unable to pass date string, please provide a valid ISO 8601 date time string. That's what I need to pass. That is why I need to pass here ISO string. Okay, so you have understood this part I hope. Now let's move ahead. I'll keep this and move ahead to the next one, which is going to be our specific values date time. So what happens in this specific value date times, which is this particular one, where we can define month values, d values, year and hours. How we can do that? Let me just show you here an example. This is a minutes value, which you can pass in zero, then automatically 15 will come up, then 30, then 45. If you want to see the example here, you can simply check this out. If I click here, just look at this 15, 30, 45 and zero. These four are coming and you won't get any other stuff in the minutes one. Similarly, you can do four hours also and all other stuff which are available there. Days values 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So only those dates which are passed here, you can select. If I try to select 11, it won't get selected. Remember that. So 10 will get selected and this is how it's going to work. So you can apply lots of features here. I am pretty much glad to work with this because you can, it is a lot more flexible than the earlier versions that they had right? Actually, it was there earlier on also, but now it is like more refined one. So I'm liking it. What is the next one then? After this, we have, okay, enable disable date time. Let's check it out what is there. So in the enable disable date time, which is this particular one, and I'm going to uncomment it, in which what I will see here is, this is the one, this is the advanced date constraints, in which we are going to see is weekday. So whether the current date is a weekday or not, or whatever, in this particular example, it is excluding Saturday and Sunday. That is zero is Sunday and six is Saturday in this case. And by doing so, what we get, let's check it out. So in order to execute this particular command, what I need to do, I need to go to the TypeScript file. And in the TypeScript, I already have the code here, which is for the is weekday. This is just a property, which is actually a function. Okay, so this is how it is defined. Now this is having a parameter which will be applicable. So whatever value you have means, let me just explain you. The value will not come up from this particular is date enabled. The whatever value we have in the date time, it will be passed on in this particular one and it will be executed, okay. After execution, it's going to return that it, you need to skip Saturday and Sunday and rest you can work. That is what it is being done. Zero means Sunday and six means Saturday. That is what it is being applicable. All right. And after doing that, it is being passed as a parameter to is date enabled. And just look at the output here. This Sunday is skipped. Saturday is skipped. If you try to select also, it won't work. Rest is working fine. Okay. So you can play a lot of stuff here. Okay. A lot of coding you can apply to this particular IND to execute the stuff that you are looking for. Means customization is to a next level here. Okay. We have seen this. Now the next part is the locality that I am interested in. So I'll just uncomment it and in the locality one, what do we have? We have lots of things, but let's check it one by one. First one is the, you can pass the language here. So I'm passing EN for English, IN for India. This is the country code and this is the language code. If I need to use the Spain one, so I'll give ES for Spain. And I think here also ES, let's check it out. I'll just scroll on. This is Spanish, all right. Time is also changed. That should be, let's check IN and if I pass EN, okay, English. And it is changed once again. Now you check this out. In the time one, the, the type here is changed by default, we we have the 24 hour cycle okay which is being run but as soon as you pass the locality which is India in my case here the time runs in a.m. and p.m. so 24 hour cycle is being run which is in fact great so it is showing me the current time now if I try to pass here the current time okay let me just pass it directly value equals to current date let's see what do I get here so I'm getting 17 of January for the date Time is wrong. Why is that so? Well, mostly the actual time right now is 2.27 and it is showing a different one because of the time zone most probably. So yeah, you have to take care of all these things here. Let me just remove it for the time being. Don't worry, we'll check it later on how exactly we can work with that also. Now I will do something else. I'll check the other ones one by one. Okay, so this time I'm going to check the 24 cycle with the 
locality i'm going to pass a 24 cycle here let's see how it works so if i just scroll down this time i'm getting the proper time this time and i will find proper okay it, it is a 24 cycle 24 hour cycle earlier it was 12 hour cycle so you can see how we can implement that up and also we have 12 hour 23 hour 11 hour cycle and 24 hour cycle so how it actually works 0 to 11 means 12 hours only so that's how it works but it depends where you are and how you're using the time so that's what is more important and that is how it is implemented so i hope you have understood this one too so we can change the look everything here now this one doesn't work properly first week first day of the week and if i just scroll down first day of the week so today is wednesday and it is showing 17 as the first day of the week so this is not actually great uh, here also it is written that this is in like experimental mode or somewhere so yeah they are unable to detect through this particular one that is why i'll just skip this one as it doesn't work as good as we need now the next one is to pass okay you can pass a different time name also means so the heading for the time you can change also by passing the locality definitely we can do that up but without doing that also by using the span and time label you can change the label of time let's check it out this is how it is being done all right so simple to understand i hope now after that is done what is next i want to show you is this particular one if you don't want to pass the hour using the hour cycle and local using this particular one local one you can directly pass in the local here actually you have to use the local one sorry so en english great britain is the country code and this is the hour cycle hc is for hour cycle and 12 hour cycle it is being used let's check it out so 12 hour cycle and in great britain obviously english will be used properly and this is how it is showing up so this is also working nicely i'll keep then i will move to the next one which is date time presentation let's simply check this out so i will show you the month year presentation how it looks like so this is how the month year presentation looks like you have the month here and you can select the year that's the two stuff that you are going to get in your output which you can simply check so you can modify the stuff as per the requirement with the help of this presentation tag or property now if you want to have the other features to be used say like if you want the presentation to be year month okay how it looks like we have the month month year time date everything you can split one by one as per the requirement so we are just going to look one by one here so this is the year month which is actually the date one that we normally see right so this is the default one which we don't want to see then this is the month one only month will show up okay this is for the year only year will show up only month only year and this is only time okay this is this particular one only this one for the time and the last one is for the date one we don't have the time here so that is how you can work around with that in fact uh, this year month also doesn't have the time okay so i hope you have understood this one too now i'll show you another one which is this will prefer will so what does prefer will does is it converts your presentation of the date time into this really one so you can just scroll and select the timing along with the date okay now if you want some more stuff here you can do that you can pass the local once again along with the wheel one wheel design is great actually to work with if you want to then you can have this timing changed here based on the locality you can do that means you can apply all the properties that you've already seen earlier fine then we you can in fact select multiple dates here and the presentation is data which i have given here multiple to true now these are the values which are being passed for sil for the dates to be selected let's check it out 3 13 and 29 are the dates which will be selected from 2022 june okay so yeah you can pass this value dynamically also as per your requirement now after that i'm going to show you the default button one not actually default button it is a default title so sorry so default title is select date which is coming here if you don't want to pass this particular select date and you want to change it you can simply pass here span and slot of title you can just pass selected reservation date or anything else which you want okay it will get changed in this particular way so you have all the customization options so far you whatever you have got all the customization to be done now which one will i keep here is let me keep the month year one only because that will look nice preferable will look nice so let's keep that this particular one all right so this is looking nice 
Let's keep that. After that, we are going to jump into the buttons one. So in the buttons, what all things do we need? We just comment this particular one. All right, error will go away. So show default buttons. What are the default buttons here? You get a cancel and done button, which you can simply work with. Other things will remain the same. If you want to change some stuff like the button name and everything, you can do that with the help of our second one, which is the done button, done text. Actually, you can change to whatever string you want and cancel text also you can simply change and it will look like this. Okay. After that, you can in fact work with this particular buttons also. Let me just uncomment this. All right. I'll get an error here because I'm using a standalone one in which you need to like import all of it. So let me have button this two stuff error will go away and we will be able to see. So you have to pass it in the imports and also import it from this particular package. Okay. Only in the standalone one. Remember, you don't need to do it for ng modules project. Now after that, just check this out here and buttons is being used to cover up all the buttons that are available within this. So we have three buttons here which is being passed one, two, and the third one. Okay. So the third one is for the confirmation. Second one is for the cancel one. And first one is to reset it. Say like if I select the 30, if I click on reset, it will get reset to 17 once again. Now the functionality of never mind and all set might work. You just need to check it to implement it and uh, you will get the value in return. I hope so. Now this is fine. Let's skip it and move ahead with the other one, which is the okay, highlighting specific dates in date time. So we are going to work with that. So highlight dates is the property with the help of which you can pass the selected dates okay now in order to execute that i need to have a dummy dates which is already available here highlighted dates i just need to uncomment it okay the error will go away so here date is passed text color if you want to change and background color if you want to change so background color and everything is being applied fine so this is how you can work around with the highlighted dates passing multiple dates which are selected with the help of highlighted dates property and the rest of the things will remain the same like the value presentation how you and all of this what else do we have here we have one more where we have the presentation as date and highlighted dates as date which is actually the same one in we in this i have not applied the value okay so earlier when we applied the value what's wrong here so here if you don't pass the value the highlighted dates won't work let's check it here how it is being shown i've shown you each and everything most probably as of now right just check this out everything is already covered up this is the highlighting specific dates and here we need to pass value otherwise this will not. so remember that passing in this particular way will not help us we need to have the value too along with this then only it's going to work remember now it is working great let's jump to the next one which is styling in date time which is very much important maximum of you needs the styling part so in the styling one what is being done and date time you can pass any class and color you can pass rose color by default we don't have that color so we need to create it in the variables.scss and this is how we can create a new color. It is already available in this particular code. You want to check? Let me just show you. This is the styling part and this is the dates that are selected. If you are passing it in this particular way. Well, I think I made a mistake actually. Let me just get back when you can pass the date time in this particular way also without passing the value. Pass it once again. Okay. So if I'm doing so, I will pass as highlighted dates one. I think I have it here. This is the one all right which is actually the same code that you have just seen in this particular ts file this is the code fine which i have implemented and without the value also we can get the output here let's check it out this is the one that we are able to see just now for the which one for the highlighted dates where i pass highlighted dates one okay too many things you can simply pass it here without the current value fine all right so here i have implemented uh, the code like it's a function which is being passed to this particular property. Now here the execution is being done based on the requirement, whatever the requirement is. And accordingly, the data is prepared with the color text it means dynamic data is being prepared instead of passing this whole array object. So this is an array of objects which is not being passed here. So that's how the flexibility is shown for and date time highlighted dates. Okay, so let me keep the second one and let's move ahead for the style one, which we have already seen for the first one, I hope not exactly as of now because I was still implementing that just by implementing this particular stuff in your dot root actually this particular 
file this particular variable you have to pass it at the very end wherever you want but you have to pass the class also in this particular way in order to execute it whether it is in global load scss or in variable source wherever you want you can pass this class after doing that only the design will change as of now the design is not changing because we need to else or what we'll just check it html so as you can see just by passing rows color rows it's not working here but in the scss i will be using this particular class to change the background and everything so this is the class in which this particular styling is being passed and with the help of that we can change the background and everything so mostly this is getting implemented fine and if i just comment this to let's see what happens crawl check this out the color is changed right along with the border shadow and everything but the background is not so you need to pass this to also along with it not to work with that fine then it will get changed in this in order to execute this you can simply like check out what is the value here okay this is within the button all right so you have to change the color of the button also if you want by passing part time button so let's try it in this particular way we are going to pass time button and change the background be of let's see this color all right just look at this it is changed so you can work accordingly with this particular one if you want fine you can change the color also you can change the border color also whatever you want you can just do that up so i hope you are getting the stuff here how exactly you need to work with fine even you can pass some opacity also that will look nice let me try that so i'll just get the light color here let's say this color i'm going to pass copy it and i'll go to the scss instead of this color i'm going to pass particular one and mostly the color will get changed yeah now color i'll change it to this particular color so just the alternate stuff i'm applying here let's check it out yes just look at this so play around with the things that you have within yourself means within the vicinity that you are looking at okay let's move ahead and look for the other stuff here so next one is again the styling part only where we have another thing okay the here ng model will be used now for using the ng model we need to pass forms module in your if you are using ng modules project then you have to go to the modules file and check it out whether it is being applied or not in this standalone you can simply pass it in the imports and import it from at angular slash forms that's it after doing that everything will be fine now what do we see here let's check it one by one we have two stuff comment the second one now in this particular one it's going to take date time property as the value and also fetch the value there so input and output both is being applied this bracket means output this bracket means the second bracket means input fine all right let's get back and check the value of date time that is being applied here so this is the date time okay which i have passed and if you want to check it out you can just look into this particular one for styling yeah you can copy this this is the scss which is being applied all right if you want definitely you can pass the whole stuff in global load scss but i don't want to hamper the other things that i'll be using in the project that is why i'm not doing so anyways let's get ahead and i'll show you the other stuff yeah this is the model one in which you in the css you can apply lots of like lots of uh, designing is being done which is actually complicated and a little bit of problem problematic stuff but in the ts file we have the date time where this particular functionality is being applied in which the current date is being taken change the date by minus two that means two days back which is being passed to another variable called day change now if the current date plus date change less than equals to zero then date change will be minus date all right why it's being done so it will be minus one if the day we are going to set the value is is in the previous month then set the date two days later instead it remains all right so what does it mean that by default we are going back two days that is what it will do but if you enter in the earlier month that means in the last month then it will be increased by two days and finally the date will be converted to iso string so that it will be shown there in the date picker next we have the wheel pickers this is how it looks like and i think i have already shown you let me just implement it here also now before jumping ahead i need to show you one thing let's see okay i'm getting some error here let me close it and open it up again again i'm getting the error what if i pass encapsulation to be none if i do that up let's see what happens so it is imported from a regular slash core if i do that close it and open it up again still i'm getting the error and the error is related to what okay cannot assign template to 
variable date time that's because i don't have the functionality here so what is given here is here in the ts file encapsulation was being passed in order to execute the scss okay the css which is being applied here now if i don't pass the functionality what will happen will the css still work let's check it out because there is an issue that i can work with either css or this functionality here so let me just try with the functionality at first which i have give passed with this within this set date and i have applied in ng on in it okay the same stuff only now let's check it out i'll just close it open it up again still i'm getting an error if i remove this encapsulation one let's see what happens comment it close run it again because it is stuck here that is why we need to do it again again it is showing the same problem all right so what's wrong actually it was working earlier but right now it is not so it is saying that dollar event cannot be assigned to temp template variable date time what if i give a function here let's see give dollar event here okay comment this and in the html instead of date time if i simply pass set date and pass the dollar event here will that work i don't think so in ng model we cannot set that well so i don't get it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't right now it is not working and basically it is saying that this particular property here where it is this date time which is being applied here that should have some like dollar event uh to be assigned in this particular one which cannot be done in this case all right that is why the error is coming up and if you want to apply the styling to that well this is a css and this class here style bg1 is being applied okay so if you uncomment this whole stuff you can apply the styling fine let me just check this out so i think still we have the error okay and so i'll just leave it to you guys this particular one because this is not working i don't waste a lot of time here but you can execute certain commands as per your requirement obviously this can be done we have already seen with the help of this weekday and all other stuff so you can simply skip ng model if needed and work with the other stuff so let me just get rid of the errors by commenting all the stuff that we don't need fine i will not implement it and the date time let me comment this and open up the second one let's get ahead and look at the next one so if you want to execute the same command definitely you can check this particular code here this is the one which you can execute and yeah this is how it's going to look like by applying the styling styling can be done of course but there are lots of shadow stuff that is being used so definitely you need to pass encapsulation for that that is what it is said here otherwise it might give you some errors so yeah for css also there are a lot of errors that comes just check this then let's jump into the wheel picker that we have already seen here or i haven't shown maybe i need to close it and open it up again using ctrl c and again running ionic surf in order to check the output otherwise this is stuck as of now it's wrong here tile bg1 i'll just stop it because it was not getting implemented since i removed the encapsulation part all right so i'll just scroll down and this is what it is coming up for the styling in date time which one was it yeah the second one this is the one so the wheel design is also showing up correct and style bg1 if i just apply this i don't think it's going to work directly is it yes it is getting applied actually so if it doesn't get applied you simply pass the encapsulation to none and that might work okay just check that out if it gives error don't use that so i'll just keep it and move ahead with the other stuff that we need to check so this is the style bg2 i think there is some issue with this one also maybe let's check it out so in the style bg2 what do we get this kind of a design in the bg2 what i'm going to give is to work with another styling part where we have lots and lots of shadow parts actually maximum one this is the one if i try to apply it and it is getting applied and we can see the output here which is in fact great it is similar to the one that we saw here right the styling is same but the point is that the ng model was not working here which was working in our case right now okay and for the time zones well you can simply pass it in this particular way i suppose set the time zone on the user's device get the time zone set on the user's device this is how you can get it and how you can apply it all right utc to time zone this is how you can apply it. okay let's try it so i just copied that part and i'll get back go to my ts file and in the ng on in it now here what i'll do i'll just paste the code and in this code what am i going to do let me not use this date here okay because we already have the current date or if you still want to pass the date then what i'll do here is i will just do it in this particular way remove this one okay create a date object from a utc date string so utc is needed instead of that let's keep it in this way and i'm going to implement next line let's 
let's import everything at first okay format i'm not going to use it for the time being let's execute that it's wrong here do i need to install anything most probably you need to install this date fns okay then only it's going to work most probably otherwise this function will not work so this function converts from utc to a time zone zone time so let's try to install it and see whether it works or not i'll just install it in this particular way okay this is installed now and do i get the error still I'm getting the error it's not gone so i think this is not the package which i'm looking for it should be tz i'll un uninstall the earlier one and install it once again for this tz one let's check it out whether this works or not no it is still not showing up okay i have run uninstall i'm really sorry it's gonna be install all right installation is done and the error is gone so this is working now format if you want to use you can simply pass it i'll just check it whether it works or not so i'll get the zone time and this zone time i'm going to pass it here zone time dot iso string so if i convert that and let's check the current date now whether it works or not for us so there's an error actually what error am i getting so it is saying that namespace error. let's close it and try it again still i think i have the error in relative time format style so that is coming up from the package one so i can do one thing let's go to pack tsconfig.json file and here i have an option to skip library check turn it to true so it will skip the library check and i won't have any trouble here okay now if i just rerun it again because we have made the changes in the main file is a ts file or in the angular package wherever you are doing some changes definitely you have to start it close all this and rerun it up still i have some error actually okay it is saying that we need date fns so let's install the date fns also and see whether the problem is solved or not so i'll install it okay done now i'll close it and run it again see whether this time it works or not still i have the error so package path problem is there anyways if i don't find this useful i'll directly go to the date path pipe and work with that most probably okay uh, instead of doing all these things so let's skip it for the time being because i just want to finish it up quickly if i keep on executing all the stuff it's not possible to complete it in time that's why what i'll do here is i'll uninstall pm install date fns along with the tz also for the time zone because this date fns function sometimes it creates a problem that is why uh, you should check and if it doesn't work properly just skip that okay so i'll just remove this code here don't want it right now as it is creating some trouble for us except this one so everything is changed back as it was earlier okay let me remove it fine so everything is good to go now all right let's jump back to the next one which is the which one all right the daytime button that we need to execute where we have to work with the iron model nine date time so in the ts file i need to uncomment this too all right error will go away because i have already imported it here fine in the html part now what do we have i have declared a button and in order to check one reload it by using i serve actually at first all right so this is ready now and if i just scroll down this is how it's gonna look like you will have a button if you click on it then only it's going to open up and you can pass the buttons here also default uh, buttons that you can have here all done whatever it was and for the timing also you can simply select in this particular way so this helps to reduce like the size of the application because the date time directly takes lots of size and you can implement that with the help of keep contents mounted so it will be mounting on top of the content here and it will show up pretty nicely as your requirement you just need to pass this id whatever you are passing the id here you need to pass it here in the date time property for the date time button that's what you need to do if you do that up it's going to show up properly and all the properties that you have within the date time you can simply pass it pretty easily so this is the benefit of using the iron date time which is having lots and lots of features you can just simply check how many stuff is available here if you want to go in depth of it and this is the button how it can be executed it is shown here just check this out so it is not loading here it is taking a lot of time but don't need to worry it's the same stuff that i've shown here okay so this is how you can implement the wheel design and everything okay so everything is covered up here whatever was needed i think i have covered up all the basic stuff which is needed for you to work with iron date time properly the main important stuff is the iso string that you need to pass otherwise this is not going to work if you want to pass the dynamic value here okay for time it is not needed remember it for time the iso string is not needed directly you can pass the time and it will work properly. but for date you need to pass the iso string, okay so that's the only thing i wanted to convey to you with this i'm going to wrap up the lecture today i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section how you like this particular video and also do 
hit the like button if you are enjoying it okay and if you are new here make sure you subscribe to the channel check out all the courses the links are there in the description thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you next time <music>